What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my most recent sales. Now most of my sales on eBay and Facebook Marketplace this past couple weeks has been mostly all video games. There was one hockey card that I was able to sell, but mostly everything was either a console or video game. So I'm extremely happy to share this with you. Let's get right into this. Up first, we have a PlayStation 1 that was not working. The laser was not working. The wire was cut from a previous owner where it snapped on them or something. Now I did talk about this one in the last video, but I decided to actually put it in this video because I didn't put it in a video yet. This one here, I sold it for $40. This person planned on combining it with the one that he has that's not working and get one working PlayStation 1. Now for me, I could have waited and paid to get uh, the part that I needed for this, which is a $30 part, and be able to sell it for more, but that's more of a headache for me. That's more that I had to put towards this. I only paid $30 for this PS1 and a ton of video games, and they bought just the PS1 off me for $40. So right away, that is $10 profits, and I still have a pile of games left to sell to make even more profit. So I decided to just go ahead and sell it. If he thought he could get it working, that is all I needed to make this sale happen. Next up is nine PS3 games for $30. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to rate which video games they were, but most of the time for PS3 games, I usually sell them for $5 each. This person decided to send me an offer of $30 for the nine games he wanted, and I decided to take it. At the end of the day, that's $30 in my pockets, and that right there is all profit. Next up is a DS game called Animal Crossing that I was actually given for free. This game here, I ended up selling it for $30 on eBay. That was $30 after fees and shipping, which for me, $30 is $30. That is awesome of a sale in my opinion. Next is nine DS games. These ones also were given to me for free and they all had their case, but they're really low end DS games. No Mario, Legends of Zelda, or any other games that are worth a little bit more. So I only sold them for $20, but right there, having those all given to me for free, the Animal Crossing and these other games, that was $50, that was all profits. Next up is for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Mario All-Stars. This game here, I wanted to sell it for more, but I was able to sell it on eBay, which I'm glad just for the sale. It sold for $10 after fees and shipping. That to me, I could have sold it for $20 or $30, but I decided to sell it on eBay because it's been sitting for a while, so I decided to take the discounts. I still made $10 profit on this item, so to me, that was still a win. Next up was two PS2 games that I originally was asking $5 each for. They are Lord of the Rings. I didn't put which Lord of the Rings one it was, unfortunately, in my notes here, and it was Harry Potter Quidditch. This one here, the buyer decided to send me an offer of $8 for the pair, that's $4 each. I decided to take that because at the end of the day, me lowering my price a dollar each game to make sales happen, especially when it's a $5 game that he's buying, I decided to absolutely take that and he was more than happy with the game. Next up, I sold this on eBay as well. That is Tim Horton's Hockey Heroes for David Pasternak. It's basically a um, 3D card in a way. This one here, because Tim Hortons, this was for the 2021 series, the newest series that came out at the time I sold it. I sold it for $20 after fees and shipping, which is amazing for a card. I decided not to go ahead and collect this year. I decided to stop collecting, and in the future, my hockey shelves up here are gonna be removed, and I'm gonna expand my gaming and my other collections up here, and you guys will see that in future videos as well. So I decided when I seen this card, I just wanted to see what the set looked like, so I bought a couple packs, got this card in it, and decided to sell it, because it's something that I just didn't want, I just didn't want to collect this year. Just not for me this year. Next up is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the Xbox. This game here, after fees and shipping, I sold it for $10, which I think originally I was asking $20 for it. I reduced my price to $15. Somebody offered me $10. I decided to take it. The reason for that is because it's been sitting for about four or five months, and I did at least get $10 out of it. I was going to include it in some other lots, but I got $10 out of it, which is more than I probably would have if I would have included it in a lot or bundled it with other games. So I'm more than happy with this game. And the last game is one that I was actually surprised that sold for as much as it did and that is for the PlayStation 2 and it's a game called Madagascar. This game here I looked it up and it said sold comps were around $12. I decided to do an auction starting bid at $5 but I put buy it now for $12. Somebody within a couple hours decided just to pay 
Somebody within a couple hours decided just to pay the $12 for this item and purchased it. So it was even after fees and shipping that I'm still walked away with $12 for this item, a game that I was expecting to get for around $5 and sell it for around that. The buyer definitely, in my opinion, could have just bid $5 and they possibly could have won. I'm not sure if other people would have bidded, but I, as a buyer and as a collector, if I see something and it start bids $12, I probably, uh, sorry, if it's buy now for $12, but the start bids five, I'd probably bid five first, see if other people are interested before I go and do the buy now. But hey, if they're okay with doing the buy now for $12, if they wanted it and they're okay with paying $12, that's more than fine. I made a sale and I'm extremely happy with that. So these are my most recent sales. Like I said, most of these were video games or at least consoles, but I did sell one hockey card, which doesn't happen often. A lot of my hockey cards off of eBay, I have pulled down a lot of my mystery packs and that, and I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I might just give them away because they're not even worth selling them, especially the $2 packs. When I was selling the $2 packs of hockey cards, which has uh, 10 to 12 hockey cards in it, which is all base, selling them for $2 plus $2 shipping, even after fees and shipping, I walk away with $1. So when people were buying them, buying one pack at a time, it wasn't worth me going to the post office for $1 and being able to ship that and just have $1 profit. So I decided to just pull those from the store and now my focus is video games and comic books which seem to be working very well. Future, there will be a lot more uh, comic book sale videos. I'll do those separate from these videos so you have more content but so they're not all mixed up. Those videos will have all my comic book sales in them and a lot more are gonna be coming out. Right now I think I have a total of four videos. One might be uploaded already on the channel and the rest will be out very, very soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this series and I hope you guys enjoy me sharing about my reselling business, what I buy, what I sell things for, and any of my sales and anything else that has to do with eBay or selling on Facebook Marketplace. I love sharing all of that with you guys and hope you guys do as well. See you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.